While digging through my workshop, I've been finding things like prototypes that, uh, some of which worked and some, some like this one that didn't. This one was called the Spangler, and it was designed to drive five xenon strobes independently. And it's based on a chip called a Holtec HT2050. And that was a kind of effects chip that had various chasing and um, sparkling patterns. It had a sort of randomizer effect built into it, which is quite nice. And I reasoned that by building a, um, five separate strobe xenon strobe circuits, uh, each with its own charge resistor, I could potentially um, use this chip to drive um, these thyristors and actually trigger these uh, transformers independently. But in reality, what actually happened was that it just triggered all the xenon strobes together. And I've come across this in other applications. When I've tried to run a lot of xenon strobes um, on a central control system, they tend to all just fire together. It seems like the transient involved in firing the trigger transformer and probably the high voltage spike and gradient it causes, even uh, actually directly referencing onto the power supply rail, seems to cause problems. And uh, it caused a problem in this instance. If I recall correctly, this just never quite 100% worked, which is disappointing because it was quite a lot of work put into it. But, oh well, live and learn. Um, I'm sure I did a microcontroller-based one as well. Uh, I'll have to have a look around for that. A microcontroller-based one with one capacitor um, feeding all the different strobes. But again, it wasn't a great success, and uh, it makes me wonder, should I revisit these projects and just for the hell of trying to get them to go again? This is also an era when I was painting my circuit boards black, just because I kind of like the finish of the components in the black circuit board. But yes, prototypes that don't quite work.